previous video, we have mentioned about the partial factors of safety for the working loops. It can be referred from this table, which is categorized into two main types of actions, which are the permanent actions and also the variable actions. The permanent actions refers to the dead loop, while the variable actions is referring to the imposed load. Within the variable actions, there are leading variable actions and accompanying variable actions. The factor of safety for both the variable actions are the same, except that the accompanying variable actions is to be multiplied with a reduction factor psi as given in this table. The factor psi here are normally less than 1.0 that means it is in fact ultimately reducing the magnitude of the variable actions for the accompanying. Multiplying the accompanying variable actions with a reduction factor is actually built on the basis that the variable actions normally they do not simultaneously reach to their maximum value. To consider both the variable actions at their maximum value will lead to the quite a conservative design. The load factor may be reduced accordingly in reference to the factors of safety given here. There are three main categories in terms of the factors of safety. The first two categories refer to the structural and geotechnical failure, while the third one refers to the static equilibrium or overturning failure. Their factor of safety varies among the categories. To be simple, in order to analyze for the strength of the members, you may refer to the category 1 which involve the strength and the geotechnical failure and as you analyze for the overturning of the entire structures you referring to the static equilibrium category you know that when you want to analyze the loading of the structure you will need to consider for the most unfavorable manners. In order to consider for the most unfavorable or the most critical conditions, we will need to consider for the actions whether it is favorable or unfavorable. The most critical scenario is the actions which is favorable to the stability of the structures will have the lower factor of safety while those which is unfavorable which is harmful to the structures will have the maximum factors of safety this will lead to the most critical conditions to the stability of the structures or the elements taking this as an example a multi-story building here is subjected to GK and QK as well as the wing load. You are to check for the overturning stability of the structure where the overturning point is here. For the checking of the overturning of the structures, we are referring to the category C which is for the static equilibrium. Next, we will have to check for the overturning response at point here where the wing loops will lead to the overturning while the GK and QK here is actually helping to resist the overturning of the structure. This leads to a situation that the wing loop is unfavorable while GK and QK is favorable. With that, the most critical arrangement of the load it will be GK is to be multiplied with 0 0.9 due to the favorable conditions QK multiplied with 0 due to the favorable conditions 
and the wind looks to be multiplied with 1.5 due to unfavorable conditions. This will give you the most critical situations of the structure. In this case, the wind loop seems to be more critical over the QK because QK is not considered in the static equilibrium conditions. With that, you can simply assume the wind loop as the leading variable while the QK as the accompanying variable and you know that the accompanying variable actions will need to be multiplied with the psi reduction factors for the accompanying variable actions and since that the accompanying variable actions for the favorable situations will be multiplied with zero factor of safety the most critical arrangement of this structure will be equal to 1.5 wind loop plus 0.9 QK. The explanations regarding the factors of safety here as well as the reduction factors is rather brief. For more detail, you can refer to the other video that I have uploaded in the reinforced concrete design course.